Welcome everyone, my name is Michael and today I'm going to show you how to do the cracked egg pour. Um, I'd like to jump right in, let's go through the paints and then I'll show you the special ingredient that I put in here. So let's get started, okay? Let's start off with our titanium white. We have our brilliant yellow. We have our metallic cobalt blue. We have a brilliant yellow green. I love these colors. Um, we have light blue. We have the light blue violet. We have a deep violet. And then just violet. All right, guys, so the special ingredient that I use in here is the pearlizing medium, okay? But in this side of the paint here, I'm doing my normal pouring medium plus the paint. So it's a two to one ratio with my pouring medium plus the paint. Okay, and then, now watch, I'm just going to add in just a few drops, okay? I mean, these are little globby drops, but they're little drops, okay? Not enough to pearlize this, okay? Because if you put more in, it will turn it into a pearlized deep violet, which is beautiful, but that's not what we need for this type of pour. So... Let's also do that. Again, we're gonna do that, the same thing. Two to one ratio with my pouring medium to paint. Now the pouring medium is 70-30. Floetrol, see now that's, that's enough. Floetrol to water. All right, so we have this in there. All right, so that's this step. So. All these paints are set up the exact same way. They all have the pearlized medium in them, even this titanium white. Now I'm gonna tell you, there's gonna be three whites, okay? You have this white here, which is the white that is going inside with the rest of the paints, okay? Then you have this one. It's a barrier. You'll see, I'm gonna pour it in the tops of the cups and it's gonna form the barrier at the top to break the paints up, okay? Now, let's talk about the barrier really fast because the barrier is going to get this Liquitex pouring medium. Now, I'm gonna drizzle, drizzle this right into this. Now, the titanium white doesn't have this. The titanium white has the pearlizing medium, okay? This barrier is gonna get the Liquitex. Now, this is just for me to drizzle that in there. Oof, I don't know if you can even see it, the shadows are crazy, but now it's in there, all right? A little more, just plain and safe. I love this stuff. I think this stuff causes some crazy stuff, okay? Let's just pour this, mix it real fast for you guys. Okay, and you can see, now, the barrier white is the same. The titanium, we're using titanium white from Amsterdam. They're the same. This just has to be a little bit thicker than the rest of the paints, okay? Just slightly, not even much. It, it's kind of cool the way the paints fly through it when the cups get pulled apart. Okay, now let's talk about the third white, okay? The third white is our pillow. It's gonna go down. I'll show you how to do that. And this third white is just Artist Loft Level 1 Soft Body Acrylic Paint. Wait, that's it. That, it's a one-to-one, one-to-one one -to -one ratio with my 70-30 pouring medium. That's it. Okay, now we have that out of the way. Let's get to the fun part. This is the best part. I love it. This is the challenging part. So push our canvas up a little. Okay. Now let's bring in our bowl and our two cups. 
Now, usually I'll fill the first cup, speed it up a little. Let's just, we'll go through both cups, okay? Trust me, we're gonna need this bowl later. All right, so now with everything in the cups ready to go, let's start out with our first cup. But before I do that, I do actually wanna get rid of the sticks really fast. They get in my way sometimes. So let's do that really fast. And uh, then we will get going. Okay, guys? Uh, this. So this is great. Um, mm, what else do I need to tell you? Well, the pillow base, okay, that is actually thicker even than the barrier, okay? But it's, it's a different kind of paint, you know? So it's going to work a little different. Mm. Okay. So now... I am just gonna start out just a little bit in this first cup, just a little bit of white. Kind of like how you would start out with like a cloud pour, but that's, it's okay. Now, let's just go through our colors here. And I wanna layer it kind of more like a dirty, a dirty pour than anything. You can actually layer this however you like, okay? Here we go, just a little bit of yellow. Ah! Good thing that wasn't full. All right, let's see. Do a little bit of yellow. Now we're gonna come in with our light green. Not light green. This is that metallic cobalt blue. All right. Oh, that's looking so nice. I'm gonna do a little splash of white here. All right, there we go. Now let's start coming in with the blues. We got a little bit of the light blue there. We have the light blue violet. Okay. Then we go with our deep violet here. A little nice messiness going on. And our violet. Okay, now we already went through our colors. Now you can get creative. We went through all your colors. You can start layering however you want. I'm just gonna be a little wild. Okay, start throwing stuff together. So I'm gonna get some different color combos. Now, remember, you have to save enough paint for both cups, okay? So don't go wild on the first cup. Okay. Oh, this technique is so crazy sometimes. Look at that, it's already creating some cool stuff. Okay. Hmm, there we go. Now. That in there I think we'll be able to get a nice one more round with colors before we need to switch to the other cup I wish I could speed this up while we go but yeah this is fun Whew. this technique is crazy sometimes it really is wait till you see putting the cups together so much fun okay there we go I'm gonna switch this up and use the violet next over here, okay? So I wanna put a little bit of cobalt right here. I don't know why. And then throw a little light right there. Okay, and then finish up with the deep. All right, there we go. This is the first cup. Let's try to run through the second cup again. We're gonna do a little bit of the white, okay? Boom, right at the bottom. It's got some colors already in there, probably because they're all over my fingers. That's fine. And let's try to just go through really fast now, okay? Here we go. Da, da, da. We got some cobalt going in there. That is what I keep calling light green. It's a brilliant yellow green. Throw some of this in there. All right. Come back with a little more of our white. All right, there we go. Now, when we put down the pillow base, okay, it's going to have a strange design, okay? And I do that specifically for a reason. I'll show you, I'll probably repeat again why I'm doing it, but I leave the center a little bit open just so that paint that splashes down grabs onto the canvas, okay? And then the rest can flow. There's enough paint hitting that center spot that you just don't really need any pillow down there. You'll see there's a lot of white in this this painting, but because everything gets stretched, because everything hits the center, the white's okay, and it does mute the colors a little. All right, 
Oh, we got some funky color combinations coming up in here because I'm just throwing some green on top of some purple. So, ooh, this could be dangerous. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We're having fun. All right. I just want to show you this technique more than anything. So let's see what, what happens here with the color combos. And look, watch. You can come in and start laying it like this if you like. Okay. The, you do whatever you want. Okay. Because I believe the most important parts are the way we do our cups. You push them together, pull them apart. You'll see. So look, I just drew a little bit of different stuff going on in here. Let's go back to this. All right, here we go. So a little white. That was nice. I'm not going too crazy with the white this time. I, I, there, like I said, there's a lot of white going on in this, okay? Let's try to finish this, this cup fast. Because I want to get to the rest of this technique. And I'm already making a huge mess all over the place. Okay, here we go. A little bit here. Perfect. Now, end of a little white here. That's our last of a white in this cup, okay? We're gonna switch back to the other cup really fast because I do feel like I can even these paints out a little better. Let's draw a little blue here. Ooh, yeah, I don't have a, little, a lot of extra of that. So we're gonna make this our purple side, okay? Put this down. Let's draw a little extra back in this cup. Finish this cup up. Okay. Get rid of the yellow. Done. A little cobalt. And they're done. Alright. Finish it up with the green. And we're done. Woo! I love it. It's, I love these colors so much. I don't know how they're going to work in this technique. I haven't used these colors with this technique yet. Alright. And we haven't really put any white in a while. Ooh. There we go. Let's finish it up with the purples again on this side. I don't know if that was a good idea. They're gonna splash together. We better get some more of this. All right, guys. Now, get rid of these. Boom, boom. Big, this is a very messy, very messy technique. All right, we're just gonna clean up for a second. Now, we're gonna use that barrier. And I'm gonna show you. You wanna be gentle, okay? At first, gentle layer here so you don't fly through it, okay? You wanna keep it gentle and then make it thick. All right, just like that. Now it's thick, look at, look at how much white, okay? Let's get an idea. Um, from this angle, I can't really tell, you'll see later. All right, here we go. Do the same thing, gentle, all right? Circular motion's fine. Now you can just throw right on top of that white. And you have a lot of white going on. Wait till you see these cups layered with each other. You'll see the white. Okay. Barrier is done. Now, this is the fun part, guys. You ready? We're going to put these two cups together. Woo! Here we go. Oh, this part's so much fun. I love this part. All right. Uh, ready and together. Uh, see, you lose a lot in the cup. And it makes a big mess but it's cool. Ready? Now, put it down. Ooh. Now think about it. We have to pick that up, okay? We're gonna pick that back up later. All right. Let's set us up with our pillow base now. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys. Pillow base going down. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Let's line our canvas up. Get ready for the pour later. Now I'm going to start here and see, I'm going to leave an open circle, okay? And I'm going to leave a second open circle, okay? Before, that way I can have paint for my corners. Because regardless, always paint these corners, it's so nice. All right, corners are done. Now we add back in this way and come back into the circle. Don't fill, leave this open. Leave that open, okay? Okay. That's done. Now, here we go. This part, this part is what I, that last part you would think is the hardest part. This, I think, is harder. All right, and then we're going to watch how this is going to splash down on here, okay? Oh, boy, see? 
you get this comes apart so easy here we go now i'm gonna i haven't tested it out yet but you can flip the cups if you're confident you think you can flip the cups and put this back down just to see how the paint mixes but you can see look at it stays separated here this is very nice okay oh god yeah let's just hold it over just in case it, it we lose it okay well here we go you see it bubbling ready now we're gonna pull her apart this is like cracking an egg that's why we call it that here we go guys ready and go and then i swirl around just a little just to get some different designs in there yeah we love these colors oh look at these cups Woo! there's the design look at that okay now here we go let's Bring a little torch in, okay? The torch. <clears throat> Get rid of any of these bubbles that we have in here. Maybe open up some of these cells. I can see some beautiful cells happening in this one. Woo! And the, see the look at the line of the cups. See, that's two cups. Look at that right there. All right, guys. Here we go. Going up. Okay, now we're just gonna stretch this out. Oh, I love some of these cell patterns. Oh, they're so beautiful. Stretching's gonna be tough though. Let's go slow, okay? We can come off the edge there though. All right, we can come back. All right. This is gonna be fun. Okay. Yeah, we can go off that edge, sure. That's fine. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, you know what? Sometimes the painting, like I said, wants to do. But look at these purple cells coming in here. Put it down here, okay? So, let's just be, we'll be gentle. You guys probably know me. I'm not super gentle with this. Sometimes I'll just let these things fly. <clears throat> oh, it's so pretty. I always love this color combination. And the white is actually, I, I'm glad. I'm glad I did the white nicely this time. Oh, I might have just let that go a little too long. I kind of didn't want to stretch it as much, but that's okay. Still, this is nice. I'm coming back here. Oh, wow. Okay, let's bring her back. Now, usually with these cracked egg pours, it creates what I call a river. So at some point, we're I'm probably gonna see some kind of sh striping, maybe going left, right, up, left, right, you know, something something to that extent. See how this is kind of like opening up now? Now, oh, I wanna keep these cells. See, now it's stretching. See, now we're stretching everything out. Everything's getting bigger. All right, so let's see. So far, neither one of these colors wanna create that river. So that might actually be interesting. Oh, I look, I love these cells right here in the middle. Let's stretch it out this way, okay? I wanna see what we're gonna get here. We have to be able to come back up top. That stretched out part, hopefully it's gonna develop some nice cells that we're gonna come back to. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Look at this line of nice cells right in the middle here. And now we stretch that out a little too much. And we're gonna come back. See, now you got to see the river? There it is. Okay, so we're gonna come back off here because honestly, I don't see much going on there. Okay, but we do wanna keep this river intact, so we're gonna stretch this back this way. And then we're gonna to torch this green section, okay? And I'm, the reason I'm gonna to torch this green section with my smaller torch is I'm gonna to try to create what I can get from this mixture, what I call the microcells, okay? So we're gonna to torch that big strip of green and this, this side over here, just to try to get the microcells. Because if you can see, all the color really is in the middle of this painting right now, and towards the bottom. So we need some action going up here. I do wanna come back a little, just to get this river into a different position. And I do kind of like the cosmic vibes going on over here and you can see now we're stretching the cells are coming so let's put her down i think we're looking good 
All right, I love these colors. And look at that huge, huge stripe right down the middle of cells. Okay, guys, so now let's put her down. All right, right down there. All right, just, I'm just cleaning up my hands, that's all. All right, let's, let's get the big torch first. Get rid of any extra bubbles and maybe get some cells that are hiding there. Sometimes some pearls come out, so that's nice. Yeah, I see some bubbles popping here. Oh, some whiteness coming out here. So it's looking good. Okay, yeah, I see a lot of bubble action here. We don't want to ruin these cells. Those cells are beautiful. Let's get up here. All right, now. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we torch that. That's looking good. All right. Now I want to come in right here with the little torch, okay? And we're going to see if we can get the micro cells. Okay. And here is the mini torch. Okay. Crank her up. Bring her up a little. Oh, I got dirty. All right, so here, right along the edges, see? If you could burn in here a little with the white paint underneath and the colors, you can get what I call microcells. All right, right in here. All right. Beautiful. Nice little cells popping up. Just to give you a little interesting design, okay? You don't need to go too crazy because. Honestly, I like the colors in this painting, but you can get a little bit of microcell action here too. Okay, there you go. That way it gives you a little bit of different and bring some microcells right down in here, okay? There you go, right in there just to give you the shading. Nice, see, they pop up. Hopefully I can zoom right in on that. That'll be beautiful. You guys can see how that works. All right, so there you go. You got to see every part. Hopefully I didn't miss anything for you guys. This is a very long video. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching this. Go out, play around with this, do what you want. You don't have to use the pearlizing medium. You can probably take out the Liquitex. Keep, do the cups, do the barrier, do, do the pillow base. You know, throw in some silicone if you want, okay? You're, you're, coconut oil serums and stuff Th throw that stuff in if you want try anything you want out i want to see some pores i want to see craziness going on all right guys um we're gonna go in for a close-up and have a great night i'll talk to you later bye Thank you.